I was just writing about this fucking... I scored when I was a kid, Dean Del Rizzi. I always scored. I was a good album thief. Yeah. Not only was I a good drug thief, and I knew how to burn, but I knew how to rob an album. There was a place on Bergenland Avenue that I knew if I bought one album, I got one free. It was my own deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked two up to the counter, but I only paid for one. I would take the bag, and on the way down, I'd pick the other one and walk up with the bag facing him. The inside thumb would be holding the album, and I'd walk out and then put it in the bag like I owned the joint bag. <laughs> yeah, two for one. I did the same thing at the Crazy Eddie's or whatever the fuck those album stores in Jersey. Your own Columbia house. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the easiest score I ever had was Pathmark. Pathmark score was pretty fucking easy. Pathmark was a supermarket on the East Coast. And they were always there when I was growing up on like 78th and Tunnelly Avenue. And at that time, I'm 82, I got busted in there shoplifting. I tried to rob a gas station, Georgie Amico, and I went down there to sh rob a gun. And I got busted clipping a toy gun. Oh, So man. I stayed out of there for like six months, and then I started going back down there, and they had opened up. They always had a magazine section. Yeah. That's not a fart. That's the chair. Uh. They had opened up a magazine section, but next to the magazines, they put record albums. And I'm not talking about Sinatra. I'm talking about this. Like what was going on right now. Yeah, they wanted like, to yeah. get into the music business. Yeah. So they had everything by The Who, everything by Led Zeppelin. So it was like starting from scratch. I would go in there every day around 4 o'clock, and I would take the albums I wanted, three, four of them, and I would stack them real close to the magazines. Yeah. Because the fence would close, and I could still pick them up and carry them to the fence. Yeah. You can't write this shit. No. Nope. I did this, and I would go either put them on the bottom of the shopping cart and buy groceries, pay for the groceries, and then I'd walk out the store with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bottom of the thing with three or four albums. I did this four times a week. I had a fucking huge box <laughs> with a long stack of albums. Fresh vinyl. Everything. Fresh vinyl. Fresh vinyl. They covered it, and what they didn't have, like I was always getting albums on the sly. I look at all this thing and I'm like, how many times did I buy each of this fucking thing? Sabbath, yeah. bloody Sabbath. Yeah. I gave well, I gave Sharon Osbourne's father the fucking money ten times, because they don't see a dime from this shit. Those poor bastards. Yeah, I know, man. It's fucking robbery.